Okay. I welcome each and every one this morning who are listening to Kanawu video this morning around the whole world. I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is the day the Lord has made. We have to rejoice. This is the hour that listeners around the world, the word of God is coming to you from Prophet Anna, USC. This morning, my message is entitled, The Measure of Christ's Gift. Beloved, when we say the measure of Christ's gift, it is gift only Christ can give you. And we go to the scripture on Ephesians 6 and the verses 7. And he says, to catch one of a grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. What does he say about that? It is only Christ who can give you everlasting life. It is only Christ who has good things for his children. And you know, Jesus Christ, you know, influence that. Or you know, and you know, pay the gift of Christ, as the Bible says. I quoted you Ephesians 4 7. Our second scripture is reading from Romans 12, and the verse is 1. What does Romans 12 say? 12 1. It says, Beloved, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy, accepted, acceptable to God. God is holy. So this body must be holy. God wants his children to be holy in everything we do. So God has let us know this is his temple where the Holy Ghost lives. And where Holy Ghost lives, it should be holy. Grace and gift are equal according to, according in Jesus Christ. As we praise our strength on Christ, as we allowed the Holy Spirit to penetrate every thought are bringing and carving in the mind picture of the holiness. Why am I saying holiness? When you are holy, Holy Ghost can dwell in you. When you are holy, he is not adamant. So beloved in Christ, we have to fulfill what our Lord is telling us. Viewers around the world, listen to Prophet Kenewu platform this morning. This is a mandate. We have to do it for Christ. We are not doing it for man. We are doing it for Christ. Christ is our master. Christ is coming again to take his holy saint. Are you part of them? Oh, we can't wait when the trumpet sounds. If we are holy, we are going to live with him forever, O oh Lord, his word is settled. Whatever he say is surely come to pass. Beloved, let us set our side for him to dwell. As Holy Ghost, he's a good teacher. He will teach you anything you want to know. He will teach you the best teacher. So this morning, we have to do the mandate. Let us know him with this holy body. When we know him, with this holy body, he dwell in it. I will sing a song this morning to glorify him. Unto the Lord be thy glory. Great things our Lord will do. 
unto the Lord, O be the glory, O great things he will do, O great things our Lord will do, greater things our master will do, unto the Lord. Oh, be the glory, oh, great things he has done. Indeed, he has done good for us. He take care of us. Look at our lives from infancy to now, whether you are a teen, whether you are an old man, all these years, our Lord has taken care of you. Even the bread, he doesn't charge. Is free of charge. Who can do this? Who can we compare? It is holy him alone. That's why he's the master, the king of kings, the lord of lords. Let us do the right thing because he is coming soon to take his holy one to heaven. And heaven is somewhere we are eager to go. So, beloved, let us. Be with him. Let us be holy. Holy temple is where Holy Spirit dwell. He is the teacher, the comforter. He is a good friend, gentle in everything. So this morning, my question is, are we willing to let the Holy Spirit be our teacher, our friend, our comforter, our guide? Indeed, when you have the Holy Spirit, it's more than a millionaire. When the Holy Spirit dwell on you, oh, he can chat with you. Anything, he will prompt you. Anything, he will let you know that my daughter, I am with you. My son, I am with you. And it is a privilege. He will talk to you in dreams, in your heart. And day and day, you grow from spirit world and there is nothing when you have the holy spirit you stand on the solid rock our master jesus is the solid rock and the foundation has to be strong this is the word of god so this morning our body should be holy as he is holy and one thing we have to know that we find it we are going to have all the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And when you have the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible let us know, Revelation 3.20, he said, I stand at the door. Whoever opens, I will come in and dine with him. This morning, my question is, are you willing to open the door for the master, the commander-in-chief, the king of kings, the good shepherd, to come into your heart and dine with you so that the holy temple, he can dwell, which is the Holy Spirit. He dwell in everybody. But some people, the Holy Spirit is adamant. It's more than a dead living in them. But I prompt you this morning, be holy as our Lord is holy. We give glory unto him. Our God has the power to penetrate on everything between you and me in heaven. Because he lives in heaven. And he is coming soon. And don't you want to go with him? Oh, he's everlasting king. We give him all the glory this morning. As I'm bringing my message to the end, I prompt each and everyone, listen to me around the whole world. Let your body be temple for the Savior, for our Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Ghost is in us, so that the Holy Temple will be holy to meet the Master as he's coming soon. As I'm bringing my way to the end, the church for today, we must let him be enthroned, and then he will lift us to the throne. Ah, what is Savior? May his word, which is everlasting, unfallable word, 
be upon us this morning. In Jesus' name, anybody listening to me on Kanawood TV, may God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.